Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Thursday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider is Rev. Father Bel San Luis, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and the devotion to St. Jude the Deus will now begin. Great St. Jude in heaven's glory, patron of all who bless souls, in our trials be our refuge, help us in our present woes, ever praying, interceding, desolations, endless pleading, saint of God, magnificent. Hear thy client suppliant, Saint of God magnificent. Hear thy client suppliant, human hearts in desperation, me the dread toils of life countless thousands have you strengthened by your power in their strife your warm love turns abating for the hopeless ever wailing saint of God Magnificent, hear thy client suppliant. Saints of God, magnificent, hear thy client suppliant. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome, dear brothers and sisters, to our novena to St. Jude to the Youth. St. Jude, who is known to be uh, the patron of uh, difficult uh, cases or of things that are almost uh, despaired of. So, um, this uh, novena and the uh, succeeding Mass, let us pray for our as main intention uh, for the patients or those who are sick of uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic. And we pray that um, they will not uh, lose hope and that um, they invoke the saint of the impossible that is Saint Jude to the use. And also we include uh, to pray for our brothers and sisters who are suffering uh, of financial difficulties because of the um, lockdowns and uh, especially those who are uh, uh, poor uh, in our communities. So the brothers and sisters, we therefore begin now and let us ask Saint Jude that um, the um, pandemic will end uh, soonest. St. Jude in his letter says, May mercy, peace, and love 
be yours in abundance. Through the intercession of St. Jude, let us approach with confidence God and ask him to give us the graces we need to follow faithfully his Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Jude that the church may constantly grow by the increase of the people who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. But as for you, beloved, build up yourselves upon your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Litany to St. Jude. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, Christ have mercy hear on us. us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Christ, hear us. Christ, Christ hear us. us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have, have mercy, mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have, have mercy, mercy on us. St. Jude, relative of Jesus and Mary, pray for pray us. us. St. Jude, raised to the dignity of an apostle, pray, pray for, for us. St. Jude, who had the honor of beholding the Divine Master, humble himself to wash his feet. Pray for, Pray for us. us. Saint Jude, who at the Last Supper received the Holy Eucharist from the hands of Jesus. Pray for, Pray us. for us. Saint Jude, who after the profound grief which the death of your beloved Master caused you, had the consolation of beholding him risen from the dead and of assisting at his glorious ascension. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who was filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of the Pentecost. Pray, Pray for, for us. St. Jude, who preached the gospel in Persia. Pray, Pray for, for us. St. Jude, who converted many people to the faith. Pray, Pray for, for us. St. Jude, who performed wonderful miracles in the power of the Holy Spirit. Pray, Pray for, for us. St. Jude, who restored an idolatrous king to health both of soul and body. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who imposed silence on demons and confounded their oracles. Pray, Pray for, for us. Saint Jude, who foretold to a weak prince an honorable peace with his powerful enemy. Pray, Pray for, for us. us. Saint Jude, who took from deadly serpents the power of injuring man. Pray for Pray us. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who, disregarding the threats of the impious, courageously preached the doctrine of Christ. Pray for Pray us. Pray for us. Saint Jude, who gloriously suffered martyrdom for the love of your divine Master. Pray for Pray us. Pray for us. Navina prayer. Together we pray. Saint, Saint Jude, 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 glorious Jesus, apostle, faithful, faithful servant and friend of Jesus. Jesus. The, the name, name of the, the person who betrayed David our Lord has, has caused you to be forgotten, forgotten by many. But the true faith invokes church convokes you universally, universally as, as the patron of the desperate. desperate. Pray, Pray for, for me who is miserable. Who is miserable. Pray, Pray for, for me that, that I may finally receive the consolation and the succor of heaven. In all my necessities, tribulations and sufferings, particularly the following.
in that, that I may bless, bless God, God with, with the elect throughout, throughout eternity. eternity. Saint Jude, worker of miracles, please, please pray, pray for me. Saint Jude, helper of the hopeless, please pray for me. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Grant, almighty and eternal God, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for the sick, for whom we implore the aid of your tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to you in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Together we acclaim, blessed, blessed apostle, apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed, blessed apostle, apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. distress. Saint Jude, help, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid me in my distress. And now, dear brothers and sisters, <coughs> let us um, proceed with uh, the Eucharistic celebration of um, let us uh, pause for a while and um, ask the Lord's mercy and forgiveness for our failings and our sins. Together, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the, to the Lord, Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you, good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts. We pray with warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Judges. The Spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah. He passed through Gilead and Manasseh, and through Mizpah Gilead as well. And from there, he went on to the Ammonites. Jephthah made a vow to the Lord. If you deliver the Ammonites into my power, he said, whoever comes out of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in triumph from the Ammonites, shall belong to the Lord. I shall offer him up as a burnt offering. Jephthah then went on to the Ammonites to fight against them, and the Lord delivered them into his power, so that he inflicted a severe defeat on them. From Arawer to the approach of Minith, twenty cities in all, and as far as Abel Keramim, Thus were the Ammonites brought into subjection by the children of Israel. When Jephthah returned to his house in Mizpah, it was his daughter who came forth, playing the tambourines and dancing. She was an only child. He had neither son nor daughter besides her. When he saw her, he rent his garments and said, Alas, daughter, 
you have struck me down and brought calamity upon me. For I have made a vow to the Lord, and I cannot retract. She replied, Father, you have made a vow to the Lord. Do with me as you have vowed, because the Lord has wrought vengeance for you on your enemies, the Ammonites. Then she said to her father, Let me have this favor. Spare me for two months, that I may go off down the mountains to mourn my virginity with my companions. Go, he replied, and sent her away for two months. So she departed with her companions and mourned her virginity on the mountains. At the end of the two months, she returned to her father, who did to her as he had vowed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Blessed the man who makes the Lord his trust, who turns not to idolatry, or to those who stray after falsehood. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Burnt offerings or sin offerings you sought not, then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O oh Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent to other, other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation, and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged, sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, 
the feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike. And the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet, and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, um, <clears throat> so um, the gospel of the day um, uh, tells us about um, the uh, kingdom of heaven, and um, this is uh, shown by um, the um, our father of or the king. Um, and um, he uh, had a banquet and um, uh, the son uh, was uh, uh, getting uh, married. Then he told the uh, servants that uh, uh, they invite those uh, who wanted to come to the uh, uh, wedding feasts. At alam natin, um, um, you know, that was a very special uh, banquet for the father um, because of the wedding of the son. But then when they went out to invite these guests, well, uh, they turned down the invitation. So one said, I'm going to uh, the farm and uh, I cannot come. And the other one said, I will go uh, to my business. So I'm sorry, I cannot uh, come. So um, indeed, uh, the father um, who invited uh, these guests was uh, very angry. And if, um, it's uh, very sad, and one of the saddest things that can happen is you invite and expect some guests to come, but uh, they turn down your invitation. So this is uh, what happened in the story of the gospel today. Now, what is the meaning of this? What is uh, the message of uh, this gospel is? My dear brothers and sisters, well, God the Father invites us to this wedding banquet. That wedding banquet is the heavenly kingdom. And um, um, the uh, banquet it's not only for eating, it's not only a big uh, uh, party, but uh, it is also for us today. It means the banquet of the Holy Eucharist. Not only that, but our spiritual uh, needs like prayer or some of our religious activities like uh, uh, work, uh, for charity. So, uh, we are invited by our Lord to uh, 
do this also in addition to your to our work in addition to our uh, recreation and other material or worldly concerns so yun po ang gustong sabihin uh, ng ating panginoon sa ating buhay dito sa mundo that we are here in this world not only to uh, to have a livelihood to make uh, money and maybe more to become richer it is not only for recreation that we are here in this world but rather there are spiritual concerns that we should also attend to in our life so yan po ang uh, gusto mong sabihin ng ating Panginoon. And, well, the truth of the matter, dear brothers and sisters, is that uh, uh, these material concerns, this material uh, wealth that we have, well, uh, this will not last forever. But our spiritual life, our um, concern for our religious uh, activities that is not only more important but it will last till the next life in heaven. Kaya po sinabi ng ating Panginoon what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world but suffers the loss of his own soul? So think about that my dear brothers and sisters. I think the problem is that um, we, or maybe some of us, or good number of us, forget about this spiritual uh, concern or needs in our lives. Yes, many go to uh, church, although now there are restrictions because of the uh, pandemic and uh, the uh, <clears throat> lockdowns so restrictions of coming to church and uh, I'm very happy that there are some outside who have took time out in order to attend this uh, this mass but there are some who uh, forget about the spiritual needs or concerns of uh, people and it is very sad because uh, this is very important in the eyes of God I remember the story about a certain couple you know when it is on Sunday the uh, wife uh, would uh, invite the husband uh, to go to church and uh, the husband would say oh uh, ikaw na lang um, you just uh, go and represent me and so the wife would go now uh, one day a very tragic uh, accident happened and the two, uh, the, the couple, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Reyes, you know, died in that accident. And they went to heaven. And when they were at the gate of heaven, uh, St. Peter uh, met them. And so they were very eager and excited to enter through the gate of heaven. So, uh, Peter said, Well, Mrs. Reyes, you may enter. And then, uh, uh, the husband, Mr. Reyes, wanted also to follow the wife. And St. Peter said, Oops, oops, Mr. Reyes, you cannot enter. And your wife will just represent you in entering heaven so 
you will go and uh, the people there in hell are waiting for you. So you see, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, this illustrates the fact that uh, this man who was always letting the wife to represent him, well, uh, St. Peter said that your wife will just represent you in entering heaven and you go to hell. Dear brothers and sisters, I hope that uh, we will uh, remember this always in this life. Well, it is not bad really to make business. It is not bad to uh, uh, make more money unless this uh, money is uh, ill-gotten wealth. It's not bad to have recreation. It's not bad to enjoy uh, this worldly uh, activities. But what is uh, bad, and this is what the gospel is telling us, is that if we forget our the spiritual needs of our, um, our body and our soul. So that is the point that our Lord is telling us. And so, um, in the light of uh, the gospel today, let us remember this always in our life. All of us will pass away from this world. And so, will uh, the Lord say, what have you done as a good Christian, a good Catholic? Did you, uh, you do your obligation as a Catholic by going to church, by your praying, by helping those who are less fortunate, those who are poor, your acts of charity? So now that we have heard this uh, parable, let us try to put that into practice, my dear brothers and sisters. So if you hear the invitation of our Lord, and the Lord is always inviting us to uh, attend this heavenly banquet, then let us not harden our hearts and neglect this important obligation of us Christians and Catholics. Amen. God invites us to the banquet of eternal life in heaven. Let us ask our loving Father for all our needs, and let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the church on earth may continue to flourish and grow many and draw many to the feast of God's kingdom. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the rich and the poor alike may not make excuses to evade the call of the kingdom. We pray, pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that by having pure and contrite hearts, we may be found worthy to come to the banquet God has prepared for us. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that we may bring God's compassion and kindness to the sick and the disabled. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer for our civil and political leaders, that the Holy Spirit may guide them to make sound and swift policy decisions to fight this public health crisis and come to the aid of those lacking in basic necessities of life and devise social and economic solutions for the welfare of the citizenry. We also pray and thank for the ordinary people who find ways to help the least and the less among the society, 
may the true Bayanihan spirit prevail among all of us. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that the dead may live in the house of the Lord and rejoice in the banquet of eternal life. We pray, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence we pray for our other intentions. Let us include the following intentions um, for Lita Alano, Rosie Santay, Johnny Helen C., Paul Carol Galang, Mary Rose Navarro, Joe Valencia, Maria Anita Alanis, Nora Abdullah, Hermi Andrew Ang, and also for Bernadette Del Valle. Heavenly Father, you invite us to be with you in your kingdom as we pray for others. Help us to bring them with us to the banquet set forth by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of His holy Church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis, our Bishop Onesto, the clergy, and all your faithful people gathered here, and those who are viewing our live streaming. Remember also, Lord, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostle, with Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you. 
through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And now, dear brothers and sisters, let us uh, pray to our Heavenly Father as we uh, pray the Lord's Prayer. And uh, let us pray uh, and emphasize the words of our Lord in this prayer, the uh, a prayer of forgiveness, asking forgiveness from God. But at the same time, we must also forgive those who have wronged us. So, importante po ito dito sa dasal ng ating Panginoon at yung kanyang mensahe ng pagpapatawad uh, sa kapwa natin. Maraming mga uh, nakakalimutan po at hindi lamang tinatanggihan uh, uh, magkaisa at magpatawad pero napakahirap. Pero hindi rin po imposible ito. And this is what our Lord is uh, telling us that if we do not uh, uh, forgive our brothers and sisters, then our Heavenly Father will not forgive us either. So let's uh, pray and remember this important message of our Lord. Our Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let's greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Jesus, word of love. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Jesus, Lamb of God. of the world grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. 
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May it partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful, Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray for to guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for, pray for us. us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray, pray for us. San Roque, pray, pray for, for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray, pray for, for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Bernadimitz, pray, pray for, for us. us. Before the final blessing, I would like to. Uh, <clears throat> Um, take this opportunity to thank uh, those who responded to uh, my appeal to help our seminarians who are coming home from uh, uh, their vacation uh, to enroll and uh, to start with their uh, studies and also formation. Um, but um, since there are many who are still in need of financial assistance, uh, may I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, those who are here, and uh, also the, the viewers of uh, our live streaming uh, mass, uh, that please uh, let us help our seminarians. As I have been always uh, saying, the seminarians are very important in our church because if we do not have seminarians, then we will not have also priests, bishops, and even popes, because they all start as uh, seminarians. And uh, unfortunately, there is a shortage of seminarians at present. So my dear brothers and sisters, may I appeal uh, to all of you to please uh, uh, let us show our faith in our Lord and in the Church by helping uh, vocations, uh, priestly vocations and missionaries uh, so that there will be also priests, missionaries and bishops. So if you uh, can spare some amount, uh, you may um, um, you may uh, send to my BDO savings account 
and that is uh, Father Isabelo San Luis um, and uh, my video number is zero 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 two two zero zero five one six two three so yun po pwede ninyong i uh, hulog yung inyong uh, uh, financial assistance to this uh, um, number and for uh, inquiry you um, may uh, email me at gmail uh, bellsbd at gmail.com so again, your brothers and sisters, uh, thank you, and uh, let us always um, remember that God, who is never outdone in generosity, will reward you a hundredfold. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go to love and serve the Lord in the spirit of St. Jude Tadeus. Thanks be to God. <laughs>